Hello, my name is Keshwani. That's K E S H W A N I Keshwani. We are here because we want to prepare before because we want to improve our math skill. Today is our lesson number seven in the series of ten videos on the topic of linear equations. Linear equations is the seventh video in the, in the series of ten, and today is our lesson number one hundred and fifty-four. Let's see. Let's see what we have for today. Here's the problem. We are told that 2x plus 4 over 3 plus x minus 2 over 5, we are told, equals 7. One more time. We are told that 2x plus 4 over 3 plus x minus 2 over 5 equals 7. What I want you to do right now is to pause the video Solve this problem yourself. Once you have the answer, then you can resume the video and then compare your point at that, your work at that point with the work that we are about to do together in a few seconds time. I'll give you five seconds for you to be able to pause and unpause the video. Okay, here we go. All right. First thing first. The first thing that we need to take care of is to get rid of these numbers that you see at the bottom because the denominators are very denominators are anno very annoying. They are very annoying. Uh, we need to get rid of them as soon as possible. We see a 3 here, we see a 5 here. The smallest number that we can think of, which is a multiple of both 3 and 5, is 15. So we're going to multiply the entire equation by 15, and that will help us multiply the first term by 15, multiply the second term by 15, and since we multiply this side, since we multiplied every term in those side, by 15, we have to multiply that side, the right hand side, by 15. And that will help us get rid of, get rid of, that will help us get rid of the number that we see in the bottom. Because now we can divide top and bottom by 3, the 3 will go out and 15 will become 5 because 5 3 is a 15. In this term we have a 5 at the bottom, we have 15 on the top, let's divide top and bottom by 5, 5 will go away and 15 will become 3. There we go. We are all set. So now we have 5, we have 5 times 2x 2x plus 4, and here we have 5 again. Oh, this is weird. Something has gone wrong, has it? Ah, 15 divided by 5 is not 5, it is 3. So now we have 3 plus this 3 times x minus 2. And here we have 7 times 15. For the time being, I'm going to leave it as 7 times 15. If at the end, if at the end it turns out that we have no choice but to figure it out, we'll do it. Just leave it there for the time being. It's, it's not doing any harm. So 5 times 2x is 10x. 5 times 4 is going to be 20. Plus 3 times 3, 3 times x is going to be 3x. And 3 times the minus 2 is going to be minus 6. And that equals 7 times 15. Let's combine our like terms. We have 10x and we have 3x. That's the 13x. And then we have plus 20 and a negative 6. Positive 20 and a negative 6 is positive 14, which equals 7 times 15. You with me? Let's subtract 14 from both sides. Let's subtract 14 from both sides. And the 14 is going to go away, and we end up with 13x equals 7 times 15. Here we have, here we have 15 sevens. 15 sevens minus a 14 minus a 14, which is simply 2 7. 14 here, this quantity here is 14. 14 is simply 2 7. 14 represents 2 7. So if you have 15 7, if you have 15 7, and if you take away 2 7, which is the 14, you're going to be left with 13 7. So that tells us that 13 x equals 13 7. There we go, we're almost done. Divide both sides by 13 and we're done. x equals 7 x equals 7, we are done. What we need to do at this point is to go back to our original equation, substitute this value of x, and make sure that we have we have the right answer, make sure our answer is correct. We need to verify in other words. Let's do it. Let's do the verification. Where can we do the verification? We are going to do the verification right here. I am going to erase these two steps. I am going to give you a second to have unobstructed view. All right. Now we are going to erase these two steps so we can do the verification. What we are claiming, what we are claiming is that x equals 7. So let's put it in here. So 
So we have 2 times x which is 7 plus 4 over 3, 2 times 7, 2 times x, which I, the way I phrased it, the way I phrased it, phrased it was that 2 times x which is 7, I shouldn't have said it like that, 2 times x which we are claiming it to be 7, we do not know if it's 7, we're going to verify that in a second, plus x minus 2 which again we want, we are claiming it as 7, so x minus 2 which is 7 minus 5 over 5 and that better equal to this quantity right here, let's see if it does, 2 times 7 is 14, 14 plus 3 is 18, 18 divided by 3 plus 7 minus 5 is 5, 5 over 5, 18 divided by 3 is 6 and 5 over 5 is 1 and 6 plus 1 of course is 7. It works. It is correct. That answer is correct. You want to do one more? Yes? Let's do one more then. Again as soon as I, as soon as I set it up on the blackboard I want you to pause the video and do it yourself first. Here we go. X plus 3 over 14 plus 3x minus 2 over 4 we are told equals 3. Do it yourself. See what you can do. Pause the video. Do it yourself. I'll give you 5 seconds for you to be able to pause and unpause the video. Okay? One more time x plus 3 over 14 we are told plus 3x minus 2 over 4 we are told equals 3. As always the very first thing we want to do is to get rid of this denominator here. Let's get rid of the denominator. 14 and, and 4 what is the smallest possible number that we can have? That's the multiple of 14 and 4. It's 28, but if you like, we can see it here. 14 and 4, if we divide by 2, we get 7 and we get 2. You see? 2 plus 2 times 2 is 4. 4 times 7 is 4, 28. So we need to multiply this entire equation by 28. Multiply this side by, multiply this term by 28. We have to multiply this term by 28. I'm going to move this 3 a little bit out. We're going to multiply this term by 28. And then we can multiply this term by 28. And then on this side, remember we had, we are told that it equals 3. There we go. Now the entire equation is multiplied by 28. Since we multiply the entire equation, every single term by the same number, the equation is still balanced. Now we can get rid of our denominator. Divide top and bottom by 14. 14 is going to go away. 28 becomes 2. So it's 2 times x plus 3. 2 times x plus 3. 7, divide top and bottom by 4, 4 is going to go away and 28 is going to become 7, so we have 7 times 3x minus 2, 7 times 3x minus 2, and on this side, we have 3 times 28, which I'm going to leave it, which I'm going to leave, alo leave it alone for the time being, okay, let's do it, 2 times x is 2x, 2 times 3 is 6, plus 3 times 7 is 21x and 7 times minus is 14 and that equals 3 times 28. Let's continue. Now we have to collect our like terms. We see 2x, we see 21x, so we have 23x and here we see a 4 and a minus 14. Or not a 4 rather, 6. 6 minus a 14, I believe it's going to give us negative 8, negative 8. Now at this point, at this point we realize that we have no choice but to figure it out because 8 and 28, we did not, not much we can do here, 8 is not a multiple of 3. Had it been 9, listen to me, had it been 9, had it been 9 would have been easy, then 9, 9 would have represented 3 times 3, 3 times 3 and 28 times 3 would have been 28 plus 3 would have been 31 times 3 but it's not a 9 it's an 8 it's not a multiple of 3 which means we have no choice but to figure out what 28 times 3 is 28 times 3 28 times 3 should, it's not a very it's not a big deal 28 times 3 is simply uh, 25 plus 6 
is just 25 plus plus 6. Why 25 plus 6? Because 20, not 25 plus 6, rather 75 plus 6. 75 plus. I think I'm going to just go do it out because I'm not paying attention. I'm not concentrating. If you're going to look for shortcuts like this, you have your your concentration has to be there. My concentration is not here right now. If you're going to take a shortcut like this, your concentration has to be sharp. What I was thinking was 28 times 3, which is same as 25 times 3, 25 times 3, 25 threes plus 3 threes. 25, 25 threes are 75, and 3 threes are 9. That's 28 times 3. If you have 28 threes, you can take 28 threes and break it up into 25 threes, which is 75, and 3 threes, which is 9. I should have just done. I should have just should have just done it out. Twenty-four times three is 20, eight times four is uh, eight. Eight threes of twenty-four. Four carry two. Six and two is eight. You see, it's eighty-four. I made a big fuss about nothing at all. Let's add eight to both sides. Eight is going to go away, and we get twenty-three x equals. 84 plus 8, 84 plus 10 would have been 94, so it's going to be 92. Now listen very carefully now. You notice here that we have 23x, okay, listen very carefully. We have 23x, which means because of the fact that 23, 23 is a prime number. I hope you are able to see that right away, because 23 is a prime number. It's a prime number, what does it mean? What does it, what, well, how, does, how does it help us here? That tells us that there are there is not going to be any common factor between 23 and 92. None at all. None at all. So there's no point in dividing towards 92 by 23 because uh, there is no common factor. We can reduce it. We simply have to figure out. We simply have to figure out how many 23s in a 92. Let's do this, shall we? Let's do that. Okay. I'm going to go through all the baby steps uh, for you uh, just to show you, and then I'm going to show you how we could save how, how we could have saved the time if we had done the direct way. As you can see, 21 times 3, 20, 23 times 1 would end in a 3. This, this thing would end in a 3. This thing ends in a 2. It's not times 1. Of course, I'm being silly. It's not times 2 because four, 3 times 2 is 6. If the, it ends in a 6, it has to end in a 2. It's not, it's not 2. It's not 3 either because that would end in a 9. This thing has to end in a 2. That tells us that it must be 4. 3 times 4 is 12, which is 2, carry 1, 2 is, uh, two 4 is 8, plus 1 is 92. That tells us that this implies that x equals, x equals 4. Now the reason what we did a little while ago, the reason why that what we just did just now was a damn silly thing to do is because we can clearly see here that 20 20 times 4, 20 times 4 is 80. Of course, it's going to be around 4, obviously. It's not going to be 3 or 2 or 1. That's too small. It's going to be around 4 because that's almost 92. It's not almost 92. It is 92. So we would have tried 4 right away. That's one reason. Second reason why we would have tried 4 right away is because 4 times 3 is 12. 4 times 3 is 12, which ends in a 2, and that's what we need here. The unit digit needs to be 2. Do you understand? Anyway, the answer is 4. We're not done yet. Now we need to verify our answer. Make sure that we did the right work. What can we do the verification? I'm going to raise these two steps. I'm going to raise these two steps so we can do the verification. X we are claiming to be 4. So we have X plus 3. So it's going to be 4 plus 3 over 14 plus 3 times X, 3 times X, which is 4 minus 2 over 4 has to equal 3. Has to equal 3. Let's see if it does or not. 4 plus 3 is 7. 7 divided by 14 is going to be half. Half plus 3 times 4 is 12. 12 minus 2 is 10. So it's 10 over 4, which is same as 5 over 2. 5 over 2. There you go. 1, one half plus 5 half, 1 half plus 5 half is going to be 6 half, and 6 half is 3. Our answer is indeed, our answer is indeed correct. I'll see you tomorrow, okay? Bye now.